guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Ricky 365. My name is Rick, and this is your channel, guys. So, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, guys. What's going on? Wake up out there, wherever you are. Uh, you know, I'm in Tucson, Arizona, right now, actually, uh, leaving the office. I was doing a little quick gathering, quick uh, getting together with my. Uh, fellow uh, cyber security experts guys and today I'm gonna talk to you guys about jobs because I know you guys want to know about jobs you know what's it, what will happen after the military okay I'm gonna take about 15 minutes from your time so right now I'm gonna give you about five to six seconds to like the video share the video comment on the video and subscribe to the channel guys if you think that this video might be beneficial to someone by the end of the video Send them a fucking email, send them a text message, share this shit on Facebook, man. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna be all politically correct. I'm not gonna be all like, oh, yeah, yo, your feelings. I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the fucking truth, uh, and that's gonna be the tone, okay? I'm gonna give you some wall to wall counseling today, okay? You're gonna learn today, you're gonna learn something. So if you are up to that, <laughs> stay, stay tuned, man. Don't, don't go anywhere, okay? So to all, all my ladies out there, you know, I mean, I'm gonna treat you with dignity and respect, okay? You guys are the queens of this uh, of this uh, of this channel okay but to all my to all my dudes guys man my, my dudes man my dudes what the fuck is going on with, I'm, I'm telling you guys my dudes man you've been fucking up too long but, but we're gonna get you right i'm gonna get you right so you live in the military either you're separating retiring uh med board q qmp QSP, whatever that you just you just went home and did it say fuck it with the contract you know you're like you're about to go AWOL uh, there's life there's life for you after the military doesn't matter which way you end up leaving the military there's life 100% okay uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys that are leaving the military in bad terms you know like chapter whatever the case may be or 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 or, or you AWOL whatever the case may be can you get a clearance after that? Certainly, yes. Most people will tell you, now you kind of... Get the fuck out of here, man. There's waivers for everything. Okay? There's waivers for everything. Can you get a, a clearance after you got out of the uh, military for some, some types of uh, disobedience? I'm not going to call it crime. I'm going to call it disobedience. Yes. There's some waiver for everything. Okay, if you're leaving the military, if you are leaving the military, guys, you should be on your best behavior to make sure that you leave the military with a clearance. Okay, I'm not going to repeat it again. Actually, I'm going to repeat it one more time. You need to be on your best behavior and ensure you leave the military with some type of clearance. It's going to help you out tremendously. When it comes to uh, finding a job out, out of the military. So uh, most of you guys just want to know how can I get a contracting job. Uh, uh, many people will tell you, oh, you need to go to Afghanistan. You got to go to Kuwait. You got to go overseas. Uh, bullshit. That, that, is not the, that, is not, that is not the fucking case. Okay. If you are, if you are, and let me say this, let me say this very, very carefully. If you are prepared. To leave the military meaning that you got your education you got your certifications you got all your credentials some point you got all the uh, all the reference that you need okay you are going through some kind of cohort you're going through some kind of class right now and you are you are you are just you are just just chipping away you know getting ready to pass to pass to to, to be top class you'll be fine stick to, stick to the video it's only four minutes and 30 seconds right now guys Gotta tell you, gotta tell you guys right now. I'm excited because I see a bunch of military people that come to my channel, watch my channel, leave the military through med board, whatever the case may be, and they come back and me say, "Rick, can I get a help me out?" And I'll be like, "Hey, don't forget to click the member section below. Yeah, you can be a member for twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, and check in chain and free. Uh, I have a I have a session with you where I because my time, the the, the 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 knowledge I'm gonna give you is free, free ninety nine, baby. But the time, my time." My time, you know, you got, you, I mean, come on, you know what I mean? Um, 
and this will help the channel grow uh, grow uh, bigger and bigger and bigger okay uh, if for some reason anyway for some reason you cannot become a uh, sponsor of the channel or a member of the channel don't forget to just send me a message and I will help you out anyway okay don't be cheap guys come on you know anyway guys um, so we are on the point where we're talking about we're talking about you know finding a job out of the military guys uh, stay on your best behavior make sure you leave with a clearance no, Afghanistan and Iraq are, are not the, 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 the guarantee you will get a contracting job. Those are options, but those are not, those are not guarantees. Those are just, um, how can I say, those are just uh, uh, the uh, the pool, the selection pool is much, uh, is, much, is, is much more flexible. Meaning that if you need somebody to turn, uh, uh, to, to work in uh, vehicles or uh, turn wrenches, you know, instead of coming to the, you know, in the States, maybe they ask you for 10 years of experience. Down range, they probably ask you for two. They ask you maybe on the state for two years of college. Down range, maybe they ask you for a GED. You know what I mean? So uh, it's because not many people are taking those jobs because there is a, there is a, there is a risk involved. You know, you know, you've been to the bunker. You heard this, you heard the siren, you know, what well, matter of fact, you heard the siren because you know how we do. If, if that's your day, let me tell you, so many times I heard the fucking siren now when I was in my in my uh, in my uh, in my trailer sleeping, and I was like, if this is my day, it's my fucking day. Fuck it, let it come. You know. So what I'm saying to you, you know what I mean? You know, there's a risk involved on uh, on taking a job down rich. Now, for my dudes, guys, and for my queens out there, guys, I gotta talk to you, man. Uh, uh, I gotta talk to you. You guys are some of you guys are fucking pissing into the wind that, that will apply to the males i don't know if the same shit apply to the females but some of you are pissing into the wind like you guys are i mean there's a there's a thing about shooting high shoot for the star you know shoot for the star and make it to the moon uh sure okay that that that, that is a great catchphrase for some uh uh youtubers who are just feeding you some bullshit uh uh, uh positivity will get you there you know, positivity and they're gonna get you in the shit. Hard work and dedication is the one that's gonna get you where you're supposed to be. Guys, some of you guys been applying for jobs like, hey, I wanna get me a job in, in cyber security. Uh, and, and when you when you put the resume that you've been uh, you've been working on the uh, on the uh, you've been working as, as an MP for four years, and, and, and you, you and you used to be your uh, the IMO for your for your MP company. You got no search, no education, but you know how to uh, you know how to uh, power on, power off the computer. You know how to install a, an antivirus update. You know how to uh, uh, you know how to unlock a cat card. You know, uh, I'm I'm looking at you like what the fuck you have you done? You know, did you did did, uh, did you did you knew that you want to get into IT on your way out of the military? Did you went into one of these cohorts? Did you attended one of these classes? IBMF, Title 45, Chapter 35. I mean. CCNA, CISSP, Security Plus, what? People just be like coming at me like, man, man, they, they just don't like military. No, man, it's not that they don't like military, it's that you're not ready for that job, okay? Can you get ready? Of course. But right now, right, 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 right now, you're not ready. And it's gonna take some, it's gonna take some digging, it's gonna take some, it's gonna take some, some, some hours, some dedication, guys. Let me tell you something. If you have no job right now, and you're aspiring to, 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 to become something, and you're not working